Welcome Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is just a quickie. So we're looking at past, present and future. And we had this whole row that jumped out. So that is extra context. So the past, we've got some self-sabotage. Five, so maybe trying to be too free that you're actually not getting enough structure so you can't manifest what it is you want in life. And the current energy is the Empress. So tuning into that really solid queen energy royalty grace um poise you might want to get out under the moonlight we're coming into full moon i think next thursday so get out walk around at night praise your inner femininity if you're a woman and if you're not a woman if you're non-binary or a male tune into the females in your life and the and the feminine energy in your own world the intuition the softness the kindness all of those attributes and tune in praise them feel where they are in your body and your life and the outcome is um, the nine of wands which just came up in the previous reading um, which is a really nice card about strength stamina and confidence just take a few more steps and all the hard work will start to pay off the outcome is the star so you're really moving in the right direction you've come from self-sabotage to the star you've got a major arcana card so life is sweet now the extra context story is you're moving away there's been some illness and stagnation you've got the father of wands the son of wands so some quite masculine energy is around you so maybe there's some thoughts some decisions that you really need to make um be careful of being too charming but maybe you know a bit of praise can get you a, a long way time to let go of something probably the self-sabotage to be quite honest um, and you've also got the mother of pentacles and father of pentacles that popped out next to each other so masculine feminine yin yang finding the balance to maybe get you out of the sabotage to take you oh god you've got two moons so be careful of illusions and denying what's true for you um, so why why do you self-sabotage you feel don't you don't feel worthy self-sabotage so you don't be seen I'm just channeling why do you self-sabotage trying to rebel trying to rebel against maybe being in the responsible father um, energy whether you, no matter what identi you don't identify as um, yeah it might be time to move into some taking on some responsibilities letting go sabotage and maybe you know, honouring, if you're becoming the star, honouring your lineage is what's coming through there. Honouring your lineage. And there's such beautiful deer, um, deer and elk totems, you know, really connected to earth. Um, so as a an Aquarius, um, you know, the air sign, water bearer, you know, get, get into nature. You know, maybe look at some youtube videos of the deer and elk and the way they move in packs calling in that abundance of the pentacles one two just the two yeah but um yeah you're becoming the star this yes that's what you are you know it oh i think that was vogue madonna anyway <laughs> thanks aquarius jump on my description if you want to reach out if you want to comment you want to donate you want to work one-on-one -on -one. um kylaaditi.com is where you'll find me and if that for some reason isn't um working i know it's up for renewal soon um just reach out here and i look forward to seeing you again next time thanks